Hey guys, Skyron here. Before we begin this video, I'd just like to ask that if you're enjoying these lore videos, it would mean so much if you could take two seconds to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps so much with the growth of the channel. Also, share this with one of your friends. Now, on with the video. The Lore Behind Gnomes during the Age of Industry, located around Albion, a resident of this great land may be deeply hurt, not by violence, but by being insulted. One might hear, I sensed your presence before you even arrived, what did you eat? Or even, oh, I didn't notice you there. How do you like being so insignificant? These words, cutting deeper than a balverine's claw, but surprisingly, they come from small, unassuming gnomes scattered throughout the land. Where did these nasty creatures come from? It is said by some scholars that long before humanity populated Albion, gnomes lived in happiness in harmony with nature. It is even said by some that gnomes populated Albion before any other known creature. As more species came into existence, and eventually humanity, the humans grew, creating settlements and building towns. As humans do best, they used Albion for war and selfish purposes to gain control over their own species. The gnomes did not approve of this and attempted to negotiate with them in the hope that Albion could return to peaceful times. With their attempts failing, the gnomes resorted to name calling and insulting the humans. In return, the humans saw them as a nuisance and the species became hunted. Only the smartest gnomes managed to escape, and they went into hiding. Only 50 survived, and with this, a powerful wizard used his abilities to curse the remaining gnomes into an unanimated state, frozen, able to view the world around them, and over the centuries, able to see what humanity had done to their land. But unable to do anything about it. By the age of industry, many years had passed since their curse. With history, documents had scattered through time and an eccentric man named Brian came across these and became aware of the gnomes around Albion. Here, he made it his mission to collect them all. His favorite gnome, Jonathan somehow informs him that by using an ancient artifact, a gargoyle, he could make every gnome sentient and then they would all be able to speak to him and become his friend. Unknown to Brian, becoming sentient would help break the curse and the gnomes would be able to flee. After finally collecting all of the gnomes, Brian uses an ancient spell combined with the gargoyle in an attempt to bring his friends to life. The spell is successful and the gnomes speak, offering compliments and advice. The gnomes also sing with Brian. All seems good. Shortly after this, the gnomes return to their normal selves and run away and begin to insult the humans that had come into contact with them. One gnome, Lionel, stays with Brian and insults him. That is, until the hero of Brightwall shoots the gnome, restoring the curse and returning Lionel to Brian's gnome garden. Here, the hero makes it their mission to shoot all 50 gnomes and return them to Brian. In the near future, the great Ben Finn 
wrote in his diary of an adventure where he was aided by these creatures. And although the gnome insulted him throughout his journey, they worked together to help the city of Blackholm. It is interesting to note that Ben is told by his gnome companion, Ginger, that all gnomes are female, although trusting the words of a gnome is questionable. Seen as annoying by some, and even extremely hurtful to others, the gnomes, in a way, are victims of humanity. They simply wanted peace in Albion, and when the humans disagreed, the gnomes were cursed with an awful fate. So, if you are lucky enough to discover a gnome within Albion, maybe give it a compliment. It deserves it. Hello heroes, thank you for watching this little episode on gnomes. I'd like to thank my gold tier patrons. Jonas, Matthias Crockfist, Scruffs Room, Sheev Palpatine, Zero XP Podcast, Sarclantrophy, and Lewis. Your support helps me make these videos. As always, like, share, and subscribe if you found this interesting. Now, enjoy your day. Bye.